Hey everyone, my name is Ellie. I just wanted everyone to keep people in their prayers over the floods and hurricanes that are going on currently in the world. I ask that we put our politics and opinions aside so we as a nation can help these people in need. Nothing is more valuable than human life. We are seeing our world collapse in front of us, so I ask anyone who can help, please do. Anything helps. Donate blood, plasma, clothes, food, tents, anything we can give to these people suffering. I myself will be doing everything in my power to help. So I hope all of you join me and all of you people out there that are suffering from all of this mess. You're in our thoughts. We're praying for you. Thank you. Oh my God. Hey, uh, Vicki, I need you to set up a meeting tonight with our biggest clients. Yes, tonight. We have a problem. Things are going on right now. We got a huge hurricane that just hit Texas. We got another one coming. We hit Hawaii. We got floods and fires in Oregon. A lot of tragedies going on. So we need to come up with solutions to make money. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Vicky, what do you have for me? Everyone should have their profit margins and stats. Hank, what do you got for me? Sand. Okay, get this, right? Everybody's going to the beach to fill their sandbags, to protect their property. Well, we set up waste stations every 150 to 200 yards. We charge people $49.99 a pound to fill their sandbags, plus tax. So with the hurricane headed towards Florida, it's projected to go 150 miles per hour. So I say we jack up the prices because people are going to want to leave. So I say we up the prices on plane tickets. They're 500 now, but we can up it to 3,000. Nice. Uh -huh. nice. I like it. I've already raised the prices of life jackets, life preservers, boats, medical supplies, even water from six dollars to forty-five dollars. Nice. Yes. Mm. yes, big money. Mm -hmm. Well, I just raised the price of home owners insurance. And for those of us who have equity, we'll lose everything due to the failing housing market. It would go down due to the floods. Oh. We would raise profits on insurance just at a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. Making nice. us very rich. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. This is wonderful news. Now listen, we're going to get attacked for price gouging. We will. That's guaranteed. But as long as I can buy a few more houses on the market, I'm good. Barbara, are you in? Are you kidding me? I need more cameras. Ray, are you in? Well, I already have the massage therapist booked, so uh, I'm in. Hank, are you in? Of course I'm in. You can never have too many houses. Pamela, are you in? I'm definitely in. Fantastic. 
Raising prices on anything during a disaster is a spit in the face of people who are already suffering. Why do we have to profit off of other people's pain? These people have already lost everything and now you're trying to milk them dry. Vicky, do you think my hair stays this beautiful and soft on its own? No, it doesn't. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know what? Feel it. Go ahead. Tell me it's not amazing. Oh yeah, that's nice. I know, right? I can't get men to stop bothering me. It's a curse being this desirable. And you want to take that away from her. I know this sounds awful, sweetheart, but prices need to surge during emergencies. It saves lives. It's a logical means of correcting market failure. People will go quickly to the stores and see nothing on the shelves. So, entrepreneurs like us need to create a balance on demand. They demand, we supply for a higher price. We have an incentive to move product into the disaster areas. Equaling more money for us. That's economics for you, honey. So, supply, demand, and more money for us. I agree with Barbara, actually. See, you break your window. Right? It's positive equity. You gotta buy a new window, right? So what do we do? We hire people and pay them under the table to break windows. We're creating jobs, we're bringing in more of a revenue stream. I need that. I got four houses and only three garages that have European cars in them. Gotta get that fixed. Look, I know it's disappointing for those in the crisis, but price gouging is the only way to make sure the products people need they get them. I mean, look at the positives. It's making us filthy rich in a very short period of time. I mean, look at this suit. About $1,500, $2,500. I need to make at least six hundred k a year to pay for it. Okay, well, a lot of people are donating right now. So maybe you could take some of the extra profits that you're making and then donate them to the cause. That way, it would prevent public outcry over all the price gouging. You think we have any morals? Any soul? It's all about us and making money. But, yeah, that's what it's all about. Money. Vicky, this is the time to make money, not start a charity. Now, I know I have everything I could want. I have enough suits. I have everything I need. But I could have more. What if I want to buy an island? What if I want another house? Or what if I want the 1989 battle? I need more cameras. Well, we're not going to make that off of charity now, are we? Oh. My. God. Those two were so cute. Oh. I have two of my own. Every six weeks, we take a family vacation. But I, I fly my husband out two days later because I have spies watching him. Cameras all over the place. And if they report to me he's cheating, I'm going to kill him. Not because I don't love him, sweetie. It's, it's simply put, who else is going to get the life insurance? Okay, um, anyway, Vincent, I think what we're doing is fair, okay? I mean, I'm completely fine with disrupting my moral fortitude so I can maintain my lifestyle. I'm good with that. I like scotch. Now, I don't buy the best scotch, okay, or cigars, but I do buy the most expensive ones. <laughs> You're feeling me right. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> and I like wine, too. I like wine a lot. I actually have a cellar at my house. I've got about uh, 10,000 bottles of Chardonnay chilling right now. You shouldn't thank me. Okay, bring your hair, huh? Oh, of course. <laughs> you see, guys, we all have hobbies, all of us. Vodka, hair products. Stalkers. I just bought a helicopter. I flew over here thinking about this. We need to cut down on other employment. I want to start hiring people at a 90 day probation. On their 89th day, I want to lay them off. Oh, okay. But, but, don't, oh, hold on. But I want to say they're rehirable immediately. Okay. And we're going to keep them under 39 hours a week because then we don't have to pay them health insurance. We have to give them a 401k plan. Mm -hmm. It'd save more money that way. We can That's call them temps. Oh. Yes, to put them on that 90 day probation as a temp and say, hey, you know what, if we like you, we'll rehire you immediately and we'll do another probation period. And on that 89th day, we'll just keep doing it again and again and again. That saves us a ton of money. Mm -hmm. That's why you're the boss. Mm -hmm. That's why I own a helicopter. Yep, exactly. And it sounds terrible, but look, 
We have hobbies. We can't care for everybody. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I cannot handle working another second for you selfish, greedy maggots, okay? You don't care about anybody but yourselves. You can't even handle the idea of socializing with someone who doesn't make at least $300,000 a year. Well, of course not. I mean, what the hell are they driving? You guys are insane. I mean, next thing you know, you're going to propose the idea of uh, getting rid of all of the family plans on cell phones and then upgrading the towers every two years so that everyone has to replace their phones and upgrade and, and then you have to go into the store with your old phone but everybody looks at it like it's a dinosaur fossil and then uh, there's nothing you can even get in the store for less than like six hundred dollars. Damn. What are you doing later? <laughs> oh, I'm rat what? Huh? You know, I, I wonder, can we put breathalyzers in the phones? Vincent, an app. An app. Ooh, an app to spy on our husbands. Vincent, you want to film my hair? So am I still going to see you tonight? Around 7? Uh, yeah, just uh, get the lotion warmed up for me. These are all great ideas. Look, we're all going to hell. But at least we'll be rich over there. <laughs>